And uh, welcome back. Now, the Democratic Alliance in Gauteng says it is seeking legal advice on whether it should go to court to get a review of the decision to dissolve the Tswane Metro Council. Uh, Premier David Makura made the announcement yesterday morning dissolving the council amid the city's leadership crisis following the resignation of Mayor Stevens Mukhalapa last month. Now, Premier Makura says an administrator will be appointed to run Tswane municipality uh, until a new council is elected within. 90 days. Uh, Cooperative Governance MEC Lebuhang Maile joins me now to tell us more about the situation. Thanks for coming through, MEC. Yes. So uh, let's just start by the rationale behind this decision. Well, thanks, uh, Sakina, and morning to you and the viewers at home. Um, <clears throat> since 2016, the municipality has not been stable. There has been a number of uh, interactions between ourselves and the municipality. In terms of uh, Section 154 of the Constitution, we are required to provide support to all municipalities, and that's uh, something we've been doing from day one since 2016, even before I was MEC for Cooperative Governance in the province. And um, <clears throat> we had witnessed a number of uh, disturbing trends, which uh, included uh, total disregard for uh, procurement and supply chain processes, um, inability to spend uh, funds by the municipality, inability to uh, adequate, raise adequate revenue, hence they were not able to have sufficient resources to provide service delivery. And that led to a collapse in a number of um, service delivery areas, uh, including waste collection, um, provision of water and electricity in certain areas. I can go on and on. And then there was a there's been issues about um, uh, audit outcomes. Um, and as you know, all, every year the Auditor General audits all of us and they make findings. Once they make those findings, we are required to act uh, and rectify those findings. In the case of Swan, there's been recurring um, findings, uh, audit findings, that the city has not been able to uh, deal with, which demonstrates um, a lack of uh, commitment on the part of the leadership. Leave the issues rela related to uh, politics of coalition, the inability of council to meet in the last month and the interruptions and all that. These are some of what I would call objective uh, problems because they are there and they have been confirmed not just by us, by other credible institutions like the Auditor General. Have you taken into account, though, <coughs> the implications of this particular decision of placing the Tswane Metro Council under administration? Uh, th th that uh, metro, that uh, council, mm. accounts for a quarter of Gauteng's GDP, 9% of the country. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very strategic metro. And if you look at the financial implications mm. alone, what were your considerations around that? You are right. It was not an easy decision. In fact, um, uh, we don't want to place any uh, municipality under administration. It's a heavy burden on the provincial government. But we had no choice uh, because um, service delivery is, um, has collapsed, uh, if I was to put it that way, and the municipality is um, not capable of improving and getting out of uh, this situation is actually going to get even worse and the residents are frustrated and because it's such a important and strategic municipality we can't afford to um, see it collapse because it, the, 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 the implications are even dire. What um, are those implications? Um, because I want to be satisfied as a citizen of this province and a citizen of South Africa that you have actually applied your mind to these implications and what it would mean for the citizenry, especially in the Tswane Metro. So what is this going to result in? Well... It will mean one day people of Swani could, have, could wake up uh, without water at all. And you can imagine already that situation uh, has started uh, in other areas. Uh, it means uh, they could wake up with um, waste not being collected at all, uh, leave the fact that it has not been adequately um, um, collected. And there's many other crucial services that are important to the lives uh, 
of our people. I'm, I'm just making an example with water because it's very uh, important. And it means that, the, uh, for instance, now as we speak, um, the municipality has not passed uh, and amended or rather uh, amended their, adjusted their budget. And uh, <clears throat> they were not going to be able to because remember, council has not been meeting. I can tell you now that uh, by June, if that was not done, the municipality was not going to be able to pay uh, salaries. The municipality employs thousands of people. I don't have the exact number. And that would have uh, affected uh, thousands of families uh, uh, as well in the municipality. So there are a number. And, 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 and it means uh, because the municipality is also doing business with many uh, companies, uh, small and big companies, means those companies will not be paid. In fact, as I speak to you, um, <clears throat> I've, got, uh, I've been inundated with a lot of... Uh, um, um, request now for intervention, even before the, the intervention, um, by small, medium enterprises that have not been paid by the municipality as a result of the financial uh, situation of the municipality. So how is placing the metro <coughs> under administration going to improve the lot, <coughs> not only of these small and medium enterprises who are doing business with uh, the council, but also for the citizens of Tswane? Yeah, well, we want uh, to restore stability in the municipality uh, so we want that's why we we're releasing all political parties because basically we have dissolved cancer so that they can go back to their constituencies campaign and then we get uh, competent uh, administrators to work with the current administrators who are there and um, to focus on service delivery that's why from now going forward what we're going to do is to outline a plan of action and that plan of action will respond to service delivery related matters that residents have raised and that have collapsed. And then we will be able to put a, a, a team that will ensure that while politicians are busy in their constituencies and uh, um, campaigning, campaigning against each other, service delivery will continue. We will also reinforce the municipality with the resources and the skills from the province and from national government. When is that going to happen? Well, in terms of the law, once we've taken a decision, we, we have 14 days to receive a report from the National Council of Provinces, uh, or rather concurrence, the Minister of COCTA at national level. And that process has uh, kick-started, after which we will be able to um, take over. But Tomorrow, I will be meeting with the, uh, with the senior managers um, in Tswani because we want to um, start that process of uh, outlining the program of action. And the program of action must be based on the capacity because we've got 90 days. We don't have a lot of time. We can't be outlining a manifesto as if we go into an elections. We must be practical and say in terms of electricity, what is it that we're going to do? In terms of water, what is it that we're and going to do? And that's the question. What are you going to do within these 90 days? And, and this is what I'm saying. Uh, tomorrow I'm meeting with the um, senior management team to outline in detail. But uh, overall, what we're going to do is to strive for the stability of the municipality, is to ensure that we look at issues of revenue generation. We look at the uh, issues of supply chain management, make sure that there is a compliance with the law, look at uh, uh, proper financial systems and management amongst others, and at the same time make sure that we fast track service delivery um, in all the different areas. MEC uh, Maina, thanks so much for your time this morning you. and Gauteng Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs MEC Lebu Hang Maile uh, speaking to us about that decision yesterday. Uh, Gauteng Premier David Makura uh, making it known that uh, the Destuane municipality, the uh, metro, uh, has been dissolved and the council has been placed under administration. And this, of course, amid uh, the city's leadership squabbles. But it is time now for news headlines, so let's uh, send it up.